Chop Shop YouTube channel. So I've decided to start a new project bike. You'll see what I'm up to with it and what my plans are. I'm gonna need some feedback on this one. So watch till the end, hit me up with a message. I'm thinking either raffle the bike off or sell the bike off. So depending on everyone's interest, that'll sway my decision. So let me know, enjoy the video. On my way to go pick up the new project bike. Um, a little bit excited, keen to see what it's like. Hopefully it's as good as the photos. It looks pretty clean in the photos, so that's a bonus. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. It's about a two and a half hour drive from home, so not too bad. stoked on it. It's in really good nick for its age. Pretty low case too. There it is. In really good nick. Pretty stoked with it actually. Should be good. Turns out the guy that had it was just using it as a pub runner. Pretty much so he was just burning up the street to his local pub on it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, score for me. Let the fun begin. This is it, 2008 KDM 530 EXE. 1200 Ks, 32 hours. It's a pretty good nick. Spare seat, filter, a million sprockets, some oils, not bad, stoked. So first thing I'm gonna do is give the bike a good wash. It's already fairly clean, but wouldn't hurt to just go over it, give it a once over, make sure there's nothing on it before I start working on it. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do, pull the air filter out, put the blank plate in to keep all the uh, water out of the air box, and then give it a good tub. Turns out I didn't have to take the seat off. Oh. Yucky. Look at that thing. Seen better days for sure. Now I'll throw this airbox cover in to keep the water out of the airbox. Now, what I'm going to do now is pull off 
basically any of the plastics or parts that I don't think I'll be using throughout the build. I think I'm gonna go all black with the plastics, so pretty much anything orange is coming off. Um, I'll pull the tank off, have a good clean under there. Um, yeah, and just basically strip it down a little bit and see what I've got to work with. pulled down now got most of the stuff off it that I don't need plus taken the subframe and the airbox and everything off just to clean so I think now I'll take it outside and give it another hit with the gurney get it nice and tidy before I put it back together so what I'm doing here is just changing some handlebars uh, my mate Kurt's giving me these Necken KTM bars because if any of you guys know Kurt, he's fussy as and changes his bars every five seconds. Here's his bike here actually. But yeah, I'll take this clamp off and probably move the bars back a bit just to a closer sort of position that I prefer. And yeah, chuck these black bars on, should look a little bit better. Now I'm just going to change the oils in the bike. Put some new filters in, clean the screens. Just so I know it's fresh and good to go. Just had a delivery. Wonder what this could be. Open her up and have a look. How good is that? Oh, what? 50 bucks? Sweet. So this is going on the KTM. I think I'm gonna chop it down through here. Make it a little bit shorter, just use one mount. And then I'm gonna build my own stainless header. Sort of like what I did on the WR. That should be good. So that's the end of the first video. Now you're probably wondering what the plan for this bike is. To sort of try and explain it to you, it's kind of going to be like my WR Tracker, but full plastics. So similar but different, if that makes sense. It's going to have a downswept pipe, 19 inch tracker wheels front and rear, the same street legal tracker tires. Um, a few other bits and pieces, nothing too extreme, but it should look pretty cool and be a nice bike. So that's the plan. Like I said, let me know, raffle or sell, choice is yours. Like and subscribe, leave a message down the bottom, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.